Hey, Justin here with Carolina Packers. Do another episode of Bright Leaf Hot Dog Reviews where we share with you where we can enjoy Bright Leaf Hot Dogs throughout North Carolina. I'm in Old Time Gorilla Day in Four Oaks. Sitting here with Robert, the owner. What's going on, man? How you doing, brother? How you doing? I'm doing, doing well. Good. Doing good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to try these hot dogs. Um, okay. Before we do that, I just want to learn a little, little bit more about your business. Um, you were talking about how you do things differently when it comes to the freshness of your food. We Can try, you explain that a little yeah, bit? We try not to freeze a lot. What we try to do is like our hot dogs and everything, we don't ever freeze them. We go ahead and pick them up fresh from Carolina Packers, bring them here, and use them, put them in the refrigerator and use them. We get, I have to do a little bit more traveling, but it's better for the ingredients, because when you freeze something, like I told you, when you freeze something, it usually takes the taste of what? Right. Um, then the hamburger and stuff, I freshly grind it every day and stuff like that. We have somewhere I've grind it and everything. Put my seeds and stuff, bring it here, and I do the patty, the patty out the meat and everything. Um, the seed, uh, the chili is a recipe from Thornton's, which been handed down from the owner of the building through Elton Bridgen, from Theodore Elton, and then Elton trusted me and my wife with it. So how many years has that been? Um, well, it's been since 1946. Since 1946. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did, we didn't get it from Thornton. I, we got an all recipe from Linda Thornton. She kind of... She didn't tell us it, but she told us a little bit. She used to come here when we first opened up eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit what well, we now might need to do a little bit of this yeah. and a little bit of that, and we just we kept adding. So we're trying to just and we just try to make fresh chili. Yeah. Um, the hamburger hot dogs, and like I said, there said we try to I try to please the people the best I can. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm an honorary person, I can say mm -hmm. I'm an honorary person, but it's all good through the Lord and everything, mm -hmm. is um, it makes me happy to see, especially the kids and stuff come in here. And then, like I said, I've been here eight years, mm -hmm. and I've seen some of the people that come in here mm -hmm. when they had babies and not had babies and how yeah. they've grown up, yeah. and they sit there, and they, it just amazed me, even though my little girl, 14-year-old, and, you know, she started young here. Uh -huh. She grew up, I could see the people in Four Oaks grow up, and it's like a big family and stuff. I mean, people in Four Oaks really concerning and care for you and all, but you know, they're cautious and they're good people uh -huh. with real thing. Um, like I told you, I'm, I live in Smithfield. Uh -huh. um, we, I grew up in Pine Level. Okay. I moved to Trip, um, Smithfield when I think uh, ninth grade. After ninth grade with Triple S. After Triple S. I was a mean little person, <laughs> I, I don't believe that at all. Me. But I went in, I went into service. Went yeah. into service, stayed away for a while, came back. What kind of service? Army. Army? Did yeah. Army. Came back, came back home, went through some divorces, yeah. came back home with my family and stuff like that. My family, you know, stood behind me. When I came here, what was it, I think about 15 years ago. Okay. So you well, moved to Four Oaks 15 years ago? Yeah, back okay. well, to Smithfield. To Smithfield. Right. Okay. And whenever I come back, my brother come pick me up with a, I had a bag full of clothes because I went through divorces and I, was, well, I had nothing. Okay. And whenever I moved back here, my family got behind me, mm -hmm. got me a little trailer and everything. And I built up, had to work hard and build up. I didn't have the restaurant, but I worked factories and other other jobs and stuff. But I kept on going and going and going. And um, then my wife, me and her got married. She's from Venezuela. And um, how did you meet her? I met her at McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah. In Smithfield. In Smithfield McDonald's. Okay. I worked at. Um, you don't need an app. You just head to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, what <laughs> happened was I worked at OPW. Right. In Smithfield. What's OPW? Um, the fuel place across from the airport. It's a big factory. Okay. Every day I'd go by and right there in Smithfield, I'd stop by McDonald's and get some food. Mm -hmm. And I saw her and I thought she started waving and we started waving. And there was a girl that, a uh, girl that introduced me, you know, to her. Said, well, find out she's married and everything like that. And she called me up. I found out she only spoke Spanish. Okay. So, she had a little boy call me up and we just went down there and we just, I don't know, some way kind of communicated and we just, we wound up together and had a beautiful daughter named Angelina. 
and stuff. Did you have to learn Spanish or did no, you have to translate? No, we did. Some way we know. Okay. Some way I know a little bit of Spanish, but don't know nothing. Okay. How do you say hot dog in Spanish? I don't even know that. <laughs> I don't know. She can tell you, but my little girl, okay. my little girl, both she's bilingual. She can tell you anything. Okay. But me, I just. I have to concentrate on getting the rest while I'm going. Yep. I ain't got time to yep. learn all this Spanish. But uh -huh. like I said there, uh, some way I understand her and she understands me. Mm -hmm. And we just work it together. And like I said, we just try to keep going. That was the only reason we opened up. I came in here and got the business from Elm Bridget. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he, um, he had he, him and his wife was running it. Okay. And, so do um, you know when they originally opened it? I ha don't know the exact date on that. Okay. I know there was a few people before me I heard. Okay. Um, I'm not sure, but like I had Elton Bridge and his wife was running and we came in and I inquired about the building across the street for my wife to do something. Mm -hmm. And he said, well this place is up for me. And, he, and I said, well I don't know because I was working at P PGI, Chicopee. I said, I don't know because I didn't want to give up that. Mm -hmm. But then me and my wife discussed it and she said she wanted to come here. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was working at JCC in the cafeteria. Okay. And I told her, I said, well, let's try it. And I talked to him when we come to a decision and everything. He helped us out, him and his wife. Mm -hmm. um, my family helped me out too, but like I said, he's been my backbone too because him and his wife has helped me out tremendous mm -hmm. building up my life and the business mm -hmm. like I have, I mean. So so it seems like from your background, you really have any restaurant experience. Well, we, what I, made you decide to like? When I, the, um, ever, since I, ever since I've been 13, 14, my uh -huh. mom was a GM for days in. Okay. We always went in and watched this and help. Okay, okay. okay. Then she had our waffle house. Okay. Every time I worked, um, I always worked two or three jobs. Okay. Um, I wanted to always, I don't know, I just, I love the restaurant business. I did, I, I, I do. So I that's where it. you got your passion from? Right. From where your mom worked right. and helped and her then, out. Like okay. I said, even though I worked like a PTI or somewhere like that, I worked, I worked at Mayfly waiting tables. Okay. I worked at Applebee's bartending waiting tables. I worked at Ruby Tuesday's waiting table. Mm -hmm. I mean, I worked at all these places waiting table. I was always, even though I worked a day job at night, I take off and go two or three days and work at these other restaurants. Mm -hmm. So I had the restaurant experience okay. Okay. and stuff. And I knew, off the, like I did when I was in South Carolina, I, I fixed breakfast. I mean, I learned how to flip eggs yeah. and pan without the bachelors. And you know, I learned, I learned the techniques of cooking. Mm -hmm. And also, when I had the opportunity, that was one of the good things, I had an opportunity that helped me after the kid. I said, well, this is my dream. Mm -hmm. Let me try. Okay. Let me try. Let me go for it. Yep. Because I kind of kicked myself if I did. Yep. So I went ahead and tried for it. And I enjoy it. It's a lot of headache, a lot more stuff. I mean, we've got an associate's degree, mm -hmm. a little bit. It's a lot more than school. You have to run a place to. Right. A lot of business now is hard. It's hard, especially going through the coronavirus. Yep. It's trying to lift out of it now. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of companies like it are struggling. I'm um, learning something every day that you might not have done something, had to do something a little bit better. So for the restaurants, or restaurant owners that are watching this, what kind of advice can you give them? Just like I said, the only thing I really have learned is I'm trying to learn still and I learn every day uh -huh. is learn to work with people. Okay. I, I'm still learning to work with people. And some of them don't do or even how to work with people. It's hard. Because, like I said, um, the employees, all they have to do is come in, get a card, they get paid. Right. With the owner, he's got to worry about getting groceries, getting this, yeah. getting that. Yeah. I go get my own groceries. So would you say you want your customers to have, like, the best experience possible, the fresh best food. product, best food? Yeah. That's, it's, that's it's what I want them about. to be happy places. Okay. At the end of the day, what makes you smile? What makes it all worth it? What makes it worth it all? Whenever customers keep coming to that door and ordering and all, yeah. they're happy. Yeah. And that child, that child, when that child comes in when it was small, uh -huh. and you see it five years later, yeah. and maybe he's in high school. Well, I've seen them. 
Yeah. He's in high school, and now he's stopping by here getting uh -huh. a hot dog. Uh -huh. So I'm going up here, going there, yeah. getting a hot dog. Yeah. It makes you smile yeah. because that's the oh well, you're doing something. Yeah. You we touch that person. Yeah. So that's what I want, you know. Yeah. And that uh, that just makes the whole day. Yeah. All right. Well, I am ready to try these hot dogs. It's <laughs> made a little mess down there. That's all right. um, before I dive into this though, can you share with them how you made this? Like how you cook the hot dogs? Um, okay. We cook all our hot dogs and everything in the grease. grease all. We fry our hot dogs. Okay. And like I said, we fresh the pan on hamburgers out. We've got to fry the. Okay. And you have, you have homemade chili yep. on here, right? We'll put homemade chili. Can you provide any kind of like ingredient or is it 100% secret? It's kind of secretive. It's because secretive. like I said, we promise. Okay. We promise, my wife promised. Okay. Then we've told a couple people, you know, for a yeah. couple people how to do it and yeah. stuff. Okay. But my wife, she won't, I've told her, she won't tell them because she promised and she's one of the ones that keeps the word. Okay. Same she yeah. won't, she ain't never told nobody, I mean, you know. Okay. I'm going to eat this. Good hot dog. Good hot dog. Very good. A little bit cold because, I mean, you had to wait a few minutes. <laughs> well worth the wait, though. Yeah. That's something else too, if I get hot fresh. Mm -hmm. So if people want your hot dogs or your burgers or whatever you sell, what's the best way for people to get food? Come right through that door okay. and order it, or they can call our phone number, 919-963-2611. Okay. And like I said, our hours are right now mm -hmm. until we extend them. It's Monday through Thursday, mm -hmm. 1030 to 7. Unless something happened like it did yesterday, expecting a storm would blow it by. Mm -hmm. And on Fridays and Saturdays, we work from 10.30 to 5. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the more business I get, the more I can expand and go back out and go longer hours and stuff. So they're never set in stone. Mm -hmm. I just try to serve the people and make sure everything's good. Well, thank you, Robert. I appreciate you. Thank you, me. buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you. You have a good day. All right. That was another episode of Bright Leaf Hot Dog Reviews. See ya. All right, thank you. Thank you.